Hello. We passed. Insulation is finished. We are now onto plasterboarding the older rooms over. Before I begin, what do you think we should do with this space? Because originally, the toilet was here. I had shelves going across. You can see I've actually built some shelving here. But we tore them out because I wasn't entirely happy with it. So let me know. And we've also fitted an extractor fan, which wasn't in the last video. Um, and that's all wired up. I had an electrician come around and wire that in for us. So I've just started with the father-in-law, putting some board on the ceilings. We're gonna sort the bathroom out first because there's only seven of those boards and there are 30 of the fire boards. They are the normal size. 2.4 meters by 1.2 meters. Unfortunately, every single plasterboard that I've put up in the rooms now has to come down. So I jumped the gun a little bit and thought it was on the ceiling that needed to be done with the fireproof board. It's every interior room except for the landing. So all these that are up, these nice boards here, here, and you can see obviously they all have their sockets all plugged in so everything's gonna have to come out all the work the ele electrician did is gonna have to come out this light is gonna have to come out as well because everything over the staircase needs to be the fireboard it's only the stuff on the landing that can just be the standard gray stuff so ceiling first that's how they were aiming for that's why I've stopped the plasterboard here because I need a second pair of hands to get those big those big balls up there because I don't have a lift and then I've also bought enough wood to do the stud wall on the exterior wall. And I've bought the insulation here for it. This one here is sound deadening. So I'm gonna put the, well, they are insulating as well, but it's insulating, sound deadening, you know, fiberglass style stuff. That is all gonna go between all of the stud walls to keep the noise down. In the bathroom, because we're having a macerator, I've put the big thick 75 millimeter foam in the eastern walls to help keep the noise down. I'll also be insulating around the macerator when it goes in as well. So, oh, in here as well. What kind of lights should we have? I'm kind of leaning towards LED strips across any kind of shelving units we have. But I also quite the, like the thought of standard spotlights and maybe making them RGB. The only benefit to having the LED strips is I can run them behind the purling. So when we're in the bath, we can have this ambient light into the bath. Just, you know, food for thought. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. We've got a good deal on some stuff. So I've already got my toilet unit here. I was originally going to build the unit, but this was such a good deal, I didn't want to pass up on it. So this is a unit with a cistern already built into it. Now you will have to excuse the mess because we are working one room at a time. I also have in here... Ooh, where is it? There. That is the vanity unit. And there is a toilet. And that white box there is a sink. I also have a tap Yeah. So the bathroom is almost completed. The macerator, I found a great deal on that. It was only a hundred pounds off Amazon on deal. Unfortunately, it is the entire size of this box. It is massive. It's 600 wide, so it won't fit in the unit. So I've had to bring the unit out a bit, but for the sake of saving a hundred pounds, I thought it'd be worth it. And we also have the extractor fan, which has arrived too. So we're all cracking on now. All I need is the bathroom finished, plumbed in, good to go. All of the fireboard on and the moisture board all taped up and with the joint compound. And I need stair banisters. This is just a temporary thing I put on because they almost fell down there a few weeks ago doing the the insulation up here so that's all we need for completion there's a few bits and bats we want to do 
Like I want to put a bit more reinforcement in the floor because it's squeaky sometimes. And I also need to finish the eaves storage. As you see, I've got a board in there. It's kind of dark, but I've got a board in there ready to go. I just need to put it on some extensions so it can go over the pipe work that's, that's lagged in there. And yeah, that's where we're at now. I'm currently in the process of filming the, ins the plasterboard installation. Um, a few of you have wanted to look at the insulation installation. The problem I'm having, having with that is I have 200 gigabytes of raw footage to go through. And finding time to do that is quite difficult. So I'm just doing these daily more vlog updates just to keep everybody in the loop. But it will be coming. I just have to find time to sift through all the data and make something watchable for everyone. That's the hard bit. So thanks guys. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.